started pulling when I was 13 years old, so I've been pulling since then. Um, this has been a great experience for me. I come up here every summer to come and see my friends from other tribes. Our language was, it, it was dormant for so many years and with the canoe journey you are out in the canoe for so many hours and you're, you have that ability to speak with one another with the other people that know the language and you get to talk to your kayas and your sapas, your grandmothers and your grandfathers again and you get to learn their what they knew from their parents. I think the water is a good medicine for everybody and every everywhere you look out in this water is all medicine, the water is medicine, and the, the people that you pull with are all good medicine for you too because when you're sitting in the back of the canoe and you watch everybody pulling in a canoe, the canoe is alive and you can watch her ride the waves and everybody's, you know, tireless when they're, they're pulling that canoe when we're doing these power pulls for the people that passed on and the ones that are sick, we do these power pulls for them. And, and I always tell them, just look around, uh, around you, it's all medicine. Every year, the canoes traveled for hundreds of miles. Some came from the north, Some came from the south. Some came from the east. And some came from the west. Each village along the way welcomed and fed the travelers. Then they sent their canoes and pullers to join in the journey. With 5 to 21 people pulling these canoes, singing their tribal songs, speaking their language, and telling stories of where they're from. One may have been healing from drugs and alcohol, abuse, neglect, and pulling with prayers of healing for their ancestors, prayers for generations to come in every pull. They navigated treacherous sea lanes, fought hard against swift currents. Sometimes they had the wind at their backs, and more often than not, they would wake early to catch the favorable tides. The same person is required to help clean the canoe, the gear, set up and tear down tents, clean up their camp, and continue to practice tribal journey protocol. For many weeks, a great flotilla of canoes grew and grew each day while thousands joined the journey. Each nation gave all they had to feed and shelter the weary travelers. final destination, the Squaxin people have been preparing for many years.
They hosted a great welcoming, which lasted all day. was seven days and seven nights. 